Welcome to the Produce Moms Podcast, where we believe there is a produce mom in all of us. I'm Lori Taylor, founder and CEO of the Produce Moms. For 10 years, I sold fresh produce to over 300 grocery stores in the U.S. And today, my team and I are fully focused on inspiring people to eat more fruits and vegetables. This show is just one of the ways that we hope to inspire you and your family to eat more produce and live a better life. If you like what you're hearing on the podcast, join our community of almost 40,000 in all 50 states and over 30 countries by visiting theproducemoms.com slash subscribe. And be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes. Thanks for being here. Enjoy today's show. Welcome back, everyone. This is the Produce Moms podcast. My name is Lori Taylor. I am the host of this show. I'm the founder of the Produce Moms. I'm a huge fangirl of the product line that we're going to be talking about today on the show. Yes, I hunted down two of the three co-founders for actual veggies. Um, First of all, Instagram. I know I'm not the only one who scrolls through Instagram and you see something or you see a brand name or there's some sort of interaction between your handle and theirs and you're like, sucked in, you know? And so that's what happened to me with actual veggies. Uh, A like on one of our Instagram pages lent itself to me being like, wow, actual veggies. That's a catchy name. That's a wonderful handle. Let me check it out and see what it is. And oh my goodness, I found literally one of my new favorite products. These are burgers made with fresh veggies. So think veggie burgers, but 100% real veggie burgers, exactly what they're supposed to be. They're filling, they're colorful, they're delicious. And we have two of the three co-founders on the show today. We're welcoming Haley Swartz and we're welcoming Jason Rosenbaum and they're here. So I'm going to let them say hello. Haley, we'll start with you. Introductions. Hello to to our guests. Thank you for being here, Haley. Hi there. Thanks so much for having me and us. Yes. And Jason, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having us. We're really excited to tell uh, tell you and, and all your listeners about what we're doing at Actual Veggies. Well, thank you. First of all, brilliant name. I know I told you both that during the during our pre show remarks, but Actual Veggies it, it's immediately resonated with me when I saw it. And then when you look at your product, it is it is it is your product in the vernacular. It's actual veggies. It's not some processed fake meat. You guys, produce moms are going to love this product line. So with that, we, we got to get to know these founders better. So Haley, we'll start with you. Just tell us a little bit more about your background and how you got to where you're at today. Sure. Um, so yeah, I actually started my career in tech. Um, I worked at AOL, mm-hmm. um, but then most recently I was working at Alibaba, um, starting out their North America office. Amazing. And each day I was talking to entrepreneur, entrepreneurs and small businesses and hearing their story of how they had an idea and how they made it real. So when Jason came to me with this idea, I was like, I want to be like one of those entrepreneurs. It seems so fun. So that's my story. I love that. And what a great background for, you know, knowing how to build a brand too. Like you're, you have a rich background in this, in the tech industry. And I think that every industry, most definitely agriculture, food, and Bev, that tech is at the helm of our ability to innovate and grow and, and bring new products to market. So look forward to learning more about your journey and your brilliant product today, Haley. Thanks for being here. And Jason, please, an introductory remarks, tell us a little bit more about yourself, your background, and and what what made you think like, Haley, we need to do this. <laughs> Yeah. So um, unlike Haley, I I did not ever work for big corporations like she did. So that's why we really complement each other very well. So I always ran my own companies uh, dating back to when I was a senior in college. So over uh, 10 years of experience of running different companies. However, the companies in the past, I was I was not passionate about them. They were not something that I really could get behind and, and say that I, you know, really enjoyed and believed in what I was doing or selling. And that's what's different about actual veggies is this was actually a product that was created for me. It was something that I couldn't find in the market when I stopped eating meat and we uh, decided to create it and we can get more into the story of how that all came to be. But that's, uh, that's really the difference in, in this venture compared to others that I've worked in is that I really believe in what we're doing and enjoy it. Like Haley said, it's, it's been fun and, and really enjoy working with Haley and, and, you know, our other co-founder Alex and everybody else that's involved. Yeah. And you can tell that this, this product, when, when you, when you experience it, folks, like 
on the packaging, it says the actual green burger or the actual black burger, the actual orange burger and so on. And these, the actual veggie lines, another little tagline that you have that I just love. It says just veggies, comma, actually. (laughs) I love it. Um, And so Jason, we don't need to delay on you telling your story. Like, please tell us, like, tell us your pathway. Have you always, you said you stopped eating meat at one point. So tell us the story about your, your personal lifestyle and then how that led to you identifying this void in the marketplace for consumers. Yeah. So I, I always, um, I always ate healthy. At least I thought I did. I always worked out. Um, I have always been fairly skinny and fit, I would say, but I've always had high cholesterol. It was something that I think was genetic. Um, it's, it's in the family. My grandfather suffered, um, from heart issues. And it was something that was always in the back of my head that I said, I need to figure out how to get this cholesterol down every single diet. I tried, uh, from, you know, different workouts, the different eating patterns, it just didn't work. And then eventually, uh, towards the end of 2019, I said, I'm going to do something crazy and cut out meat. And honestly, I did it at the time for health reasons. Um, trying to get my cholesterol down and I stopped eating meat and my favorite food was the beef burger. So I looked to replace that. And I learned that there's essentially two different types of vegetarian burgers in the market. The first is your, your imitation meats, your meat analogs. The problem with those is they're just hyper-processed and there's a lot of sodium and they taste good. But for me, I originally cut out meat for health reasons. So those didn't really, those didn't work. Yeah. They did not fit the bill. No way. No, they did not. And then on the other end, you have these like antiquated old school veggie burgers, which are almost always found in the frozen section. And that's really where they live. So because of that, they're packed with preservatives and there's just a lot of pain points. They haven't been innovated at all. And they're usually these like thin, small patties that are not always flavorless, but just not the most exciting when it comes to taste. Um, and, and they're just, because they're so frozen, they really, you can't really see or taste or smell the veggies. So that's when I, I started doing research and I was looking for like a refrigerated fresh veggie burger because it wasn't something that I was able to make on my own and I couldn't find anything on the market. And that's when I had that kind of aha moment, like, wow, like, why is there not refrigerated veggie burgers? And and I started doing the research and thinking maybe there's a reason why, and I couldn't find that reason. So I, uh, I teamed up with Haley and her brother, Alex, to really bring this to market. And we brought a chef on board to, to bring this vision to market because uh it was not something we were able to create on our own from a culinary perspective and and um then we brought to market and created four different burgers so we have the actual black burger which is black bean based the actual orange burger which is sweet potatoes the actual green burger which is different super greens like cow spinach broccoli and then the actual purple burger which is beets and what's great is they're quarter pound burgers so they're big they're thick they're naturally colorful and you can really see taste and smell the veggies in them because they're refrigerated. So you really get this homemade fresh feel from them because that's really what they are. And we use only whole vegetables and whole ingredients. So we don't add any other drunk or any other fillers. It's really just veggies and that's it. And because of that, they're gluten-free, they're soy-free and we they're, really, yeah, they're free of all yeah. the, all the <laughs> stuff that people, any lifestyle would try to avoid that's health conscious. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So we really can like get behind them and say, not only, are these the healthiest burgers out there? They're, they're, they taste amazing. So mm-hmm. I'm really proud of what we've created and, and how far we've already come so quickly. Yeah, I can vouch for the black burger. I, I told you both that before the show too, but uh, I'm going to read the nutrition panel on this one or in the ingredient list, most importantly. So I, I love black bean burgers. And I was telling Haley before the show, it's like, man, that's a lost art um, because of the rise of these meat meat substitute burgers, like the meatless meats. Um, you're not seeing them on restaurant, sh- on restaurant menus the way you used to. And people aren't necessarily cooking them at home like they used to, but man, that's my favorite type of a veggie burger. So when I got the sample pack from actual veggies, that was the first one I went towards and it's black bean, carrot, red onion, red pepper, parsnip, oat, cassava flour, lemon, and a spice blend. Um, and Jason, you can tell your influence here, uh, every single one of your skews, zero, percent cholesterol. So that, I mean, as you were telling your personal story, as I'm looking at these nutrition facts, you know, the minimal sodium, zero, zero percent cholesterol, uh, high in fiber. It's, it's really, it's a winner. It's a total winner, but 
Um, and you're right. There is nothing like it. I mean, I don't think there's anything like it. Haley, have you guys found, I mean, everyone has competition, but is there anything really like this in the grocery store that's sold in the fresh, I, I, I guess my next question is where do you even sell this in the grocery store? Is it fresh produce? Is it sold in the meat case? Um, yeah. So yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah. So we really, there is a white space. Um, there's two things like Jason mentioned, there's these imitation meat products, mm-hmm. uh, the beyond and impossibles, and they do taste good if you're trying to get a product that tastes like meat, but then you look on the other side and there's these frozen, um, veggie burgers and most, most veggie burgers that are trying to, that are traditional veggie burgers are frozen. Um, they're two and a half ounces and we don't find them in the refrigerator. So, um, yeah, so where you would find us in the grocery store is in the, in the refrigerator, uh, next to beyond or impossible, Mm -hmm. uh, just like them. That's where we're uh, marketing with other plant-based products that are found as, uh, refrigerated, uh, Products. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the ingredients certainly would qualify you for the produce department, though. Let's just go ahead and say that because it's literally, yeah. it is literally every single, uh, every single one of these product lines is a, it, it's rich in fruits and veggies, fresh herbs. I mean, that's all it is. Um, I guess, hey, actual veggies, right? <laughs> but, but uh, let's talk a little bit about the product identity. Um you know, Haley, we'll stick with you on this one. There's four SKUs. Tell us a little bit more about each of them. Sure. So right now there's four SKUs. Um, there's the actual orange burger that's sweet potato based. Um, there's the actual black burger, like you said, and that's one of my favorites too. That's black bean based. There's the actual purple burger that's beet based and the actual green burger that's kale and broccoli. So each of the burgers are going to taste like the primary ingredients in their, uh, burger and they're also going to be that color so they're really colorful they're vibrant Um, we want people to eat with their eyes Mm -hmm. and you're going to see those that that strong black that strong purple that strong green and that strong purple and then you know stay with us and you'll see some other product lines and other colors that we're able to innovate on um, as we come up with different burgers. That's great. And do you, do you have a favorite? I know it's probably, it's like asking the founder to name their favorite child or their favorite piece of art that they painted, but um, do you have a favorite or, or a current favorite? <laughs> <laughs> it de- okay. It doesn't even just depend on the day. It depends on the meal. And I'm not joking right. because I've like, I joke to Jason, I eat these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm not even kidding. Like I usually probably will eat a black bean for uh, breakfast, for lunch, I'll have a green burger because that feels most like a salad. And then for dinner, I'll do the purple burger because it's the most fun. And that's yeah. And you mentioned earlier, the purple burger is that's, that's the hot, that's the hot one right now. Like it's hard to it's out of stock a lot. There's a high demand. Uh, I imagine all, all of your SKUs perform well though. Yeah. So it's funny, purple, the purple, purple burger has the most like vocal fans. I think people are either beat lovers or beat haters and the, the interesting that thing though is people who have said that they don't like beets still seem to love this purple burger. So it is really good and really exciting. Yeah. And the color is fun too. I mean, it, it, exactly. As we think about how we all want to, you know, the phone eats first with Instagram, like the, the purple burger is definitely Instagram savvy, uh, by nature, but, uh, all of them are, all of them make a, a beautiful plate and you just, you mentioned eating them in all these different occasions, but Jason, we were talking pre-show. It's, it's a real easy item. You just put on the grill and eat it as you would a traditional beef patty or any other, any other burger item. Yeah. Um, it, you can put it on the grill. I put it on my barbecue last night. You can put it on the stove, which is generally how I cook it. And it it cooks quickly. It cooks, uh, about three to four minutes per side on medium to high heat. Um, you can also put it in the oven or what I love to do is to put it in the air fryer, which I was going to say air fryer. (laughs) That's what I'm trying to next. Okay. I, I've, we've uh, been all about the air fryer here. So that's, uh, we put it on about 400 degrees and cook it for about eight minutes, four minutes per side. And it gets a great crisp on the outside and then just like a nice, warm, uh, soft inside. So I, I love it in the air fryer. That is great. Yeah, I, I'm i definitely trying it that way next. I did it just stovetop in a skillet the first time I made it. So next up for me will be the air fryer. Um, but this is, so this is exciting. Where can people go to purchase them? Like, 
go to your website, go to certain grocers? Do you have a product locator on at actualveggies.com? Yes. Sure. So, aha, uh-huh. I didn't call your name and we both talked at the same time. So, Haley, you go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this happens every once in a while. Yep. Um, sure. So right now we just launched nationwide at Sprouts. So if you have a Sprouts near you, um, please go in and support us. The black, bur- the actual black burger, the actual orange burger, and the actual green burger are available there. Um, we're also available on Imperfect Foods and Hunger Root and and re- most recently fresh direct. Fantastic. You can also find us on actual veggies.com. So do you, do you also do direct to consumer sales, Haley? Like yes, folks we can do. go to the website and get it shipped home. Exactly. Oh, very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, Jason, since, since I cut you out of that question, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll have you, uh, I'll have you take this one. I mean, when we think about um, everything from the brand name to the ingredient list to your passion, or making a burger that actually tastes, looks, has the texture of veggies. Uh, tell, tell us just a little bit more about, about that journey. Like, I would love to hear just a little bit more about that. Like veggies role in plant-based is so important. When we think about the plant forward movement and the plant-based movement in the United States, a pain point for me is that fruits and vegetables are often overlooked. And fruits and vegetables are the original plant-based foods. So here you have a product with the most perfect name, actual veggies. How are you part of the plant-based movement? Yeah, so to me, the term plant-based is just being thrown out there too much and it's Mm -hmm. all coming deceiving. So there's so many products out there that are are called plant-based. And then you look at their ingredients and you're like, wait, there's not really many plants in here or, or any plants and definitely no whole plants. So we, we don't even like to say that we're plant-based. We like to say that we're either plant only or veggie only mm. um, because we don't want to be grouped with some of these other plant-based products. Since that's just like, that, that's the new term that, that everybody that has a vegan product is using. They're calling it plant-based, whether there's plants in it or not. So we, we like to try to avoid that. And that really plays into our whole name as a business, actual veggies is, is we are actual, these are actual foods. And that is our name says it all this burger and and future products that we're working on, they're actual whole foods. So we don't use, that's why it's not plant-based. If we were plant-based, we would have a different, different company name, but because it's actual, that was the perfect name for us. And it, it was just one of those names that when we thought of it, and um, assume that, of course, actualveggies.com domain name would not be available. And when it was, it was like, wow, we have to jump on this immediately. The stars like, aligned. Yes. Right. Couldn't have been more, more perfect. And and that's kind of how it, it took off. And, and really, we had the name. The name kind of came hand in hand with the idea. So the name has always been there. And it um, it was a perfect fit. Yeah, I love that. You mentioned more to come. So anything you want to share about what's ahead for for Actual Veggies? Yeah, so we we see this as more than just a burger company, and, and we really aren't pigeonholed to doing just burgers and, or doing alternative meat options. So what we what we are doing is, like I said, whole foods and actual foods. So there are a bunch of other product categories that really have not seen too much innovation or, or haven't had products that are fresh, healthy, and tasty come out. So there's um, a bunch of opportunities there. And then really the, the kicker is color. So like you said, the colors are very fun for everybody, kids, parents, anybody. So every single product that we will be coming out with in the future will be naturally colorful. I love that. And it just totally is in line with the adage that helps us all keep nutrition simple, eat the rainbow. I mean, you can do that with your entire product line. So it's, uh, I, my hat is off to you. I applaud your innovation. I applaud what you've brought and made accessible to households like, like mine and all of our listeners. Um, just, it's really a noble product. And, um, I was very impressed with the one that I've tried and I look forward to trying them all, but, oh my goodness, with that, this has been a fun episode because it's a, you know, it's kind of a fangirl episode for me. I think what you've built is, is special. I think it's just the beginning for actual veggies. Uh, we look forward to supporting what you do at the produce moms and following along with all your success. So, uh, with that, Haley, any, any closing remarks, final goodbyes, uh, for our, for our listeners today. And then Jason will swing it to you to sign us off from the show. 
Um, yeah, we just thank you all for supporting us. Uh, we're super excited. This is we're a new brand. Um, and you know what, Haley, please... we, we didn't we didn't establish that. When did actual veggies start? When um, were you born? So, so it's sort of funny. Uh, we started March 2020. So oh my gosh, <laughs> the world shut down and we uh, opened up. So. Yeah. So please just reach out, say hello. We are looking to talk to as many folks as possible and we're excited to hear from you and connect with you. Uh, you can reach out on Instagram or you can reach to me at Haley at Actual Veggies. And we're looking forward to talking to as many people as possible. That's some incredible progress to already be nationwide at a major retailer um, in such a short amount of time. Wow. Uh, knowing that you've, that Actual Veggies has only existed since March 2020, makes this story even more remarkable. Um, and with that, Jason, I welcome you for, for closing remarks and the final goodbye on today's show. Yeah, definitely. Um, just to add to that, we, we established the business in March 2020, but we actually did not launch until this year. So we we spent all of last year just building the foundation and we actually launched this January. So we're moving really quick and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, th this has just been you know the best time of our life and, and we really owe that to just how everything has come together and, and all the, the folks that have supported us and, and everybody in our, in our network and circle that's been helping us. I mean, we, we couldn't do this on our own and, and we know that. So we really appreciate everyone helping, um, including you, Lori, for having us on this. This is great. We really appreciate it. And uh, we hope that all your fans and listeners will get to try our burgers and, and share the same excitement and joy that, that you do. So thank you. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Produce Moms podcast. If you or someone you know would like to be a featured guest, just send an email to lori at theproducemoms.com. We know there is a produce mom in you because there's a produce mom in all of us. Join our community on Facebook and all social platforms. Help us change the way America eats. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.